and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at the Mob Plushies add-on. Now, when this released on the Marketplace, uh, for some reason it was uh, priced at, uh, I think it was 15 quid. And uh, that, uh, that I had an absolute bet that was just like, what? Why is it 15 quid? Like, who? Like, but yeah, I think that was a, it was like, like a glitch or like a misunderstanding on like uh, Mojang's part. Uh, so it wasn't the add-on creator's fault, it was like Mojang or somebody's fault, but it's... Uh, and it was like uh, updated a few days later to its actual price, which I can't remember what it is right now. I think it was like 699 mine coins it was updated to. So here's the plushies guidebook. You can... Lily's just looking at me. Are you going to come up, Ops? Are you going to come up, Ops? Ah. Anyway. So this is how you craft the guidebook if you need that. So you've got the default plushie, which looks like that. So it's like four, so that's three, four, three, uh, four wool, three string, and two feathers. So one, two, three, four, three string, which is all the way up there. Uh, one, two, three, and two feathers. Yeah. How many did I get? One. Yeah. Right. There we go. Two feathers. Crushed ball. And you get the dummy plush. Plushy. Which is. It's just cute. Just cute. Just cute. Uh, if I cute. Oh no, he's a 2D item. Yeah. If we go in F5, we can get a bit of a better look at him. Oh, you're holding him by his hand, that's cute. So if I give that to the dumb, is it? Yeah, dummy plushie, 63, because these are, these are probably going to be used to, oh no, they don't stack. These are probably going to be used for crafting the other ones, so I... Yep, that's a lot of plushies. There we go. They are used to craft with other plushies. So then you have the Axolotl plushie, which is which is uh, for Axolotl of Axolotl. Interact to gain absorption for thirty seconds. Give at P axo lottle bucket four. Axolotl. Oh, you put uh, oh that's adorable. So let me just take uh, my ammo off so we can see the effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's P clear. So it says interact. Ah yeah, you Oh Did a cute little animation. So it got absorption for 30 seconds. So it gave me uh, four extra hearts, absorption two. Oh it was a little animation, that's adorable! Oh yeah, that's adorable. Yeah! Like I said, adorable. Uh, I'll take you. So, next up is the B plushie, which is two honey gome and two honey bottles. Interact to spawn bees that fight for you. Ooh. So, give at P honey bottle two. Honey... That's all one word for honeycomb. Two. And you have the bee plushie! 
So you can place them down. I do like that you can place them down because then you can use them for decoration. So this isn't going to apply any effect, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to equip my armor. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to summon a Vindicator. Some Vin. So, oh, you're in a fight, you use this, and it should summon a B. Oh, I didn't want to want, I did not want to place that. Yep. Yep. Oh. Yep, there we go. I wonder why you didn't summon a B. Oh, there we go. Someone's four Bs and now they're fighting. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Are they going to attack the Phantom? Let's see. Ah, uh, no, they despawn. Game! Yeah! Uh, the phantoms fly faster than the bees. They are getting them. Yeah, that's probably what happened with the last bees. They probably went up to attack the phantom man and he just didn't see them. Yeah, that's cool. Ooh! Uh, so, but, yep. There we go. Itchy nails. <laughs> right, so next up is the Blaze plushie. Interact to shoot fire. So it's four blaze rods. One, two, three, four. And we got a cute little blaze plushie. Aw, oh, look at you fella. Oh. Right, so I'm gonna do this not in my house so I don't burn it down. Accidentally, and I'll summon a vindicator to use it on. <coughs> so yeah, you just right Ah so he Ah that's nice, so he doesn't actually set proper fire. Hold on. Ah, it's on cooldown. Can I shoot them from here? No, probably not. Oh my god, there's so many phantoms. Right, this guy's coming down. Oh, still on cooldown. There you go. <laughs> Set the phantom on fire. So it does have a pretty long cooldown. I do feel like they uh, they could have uh, reduced the cooldown. It's still not that bad. Like... Uh, you can use it uh, with uh, to complement your other weapons. It's not super difficult to get because getting four blades was not super difficult. Um, go there. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And also means, uh, yeah, I forgot. I did sort of just like stop my thought earlier, but it's cool that it doesn't actually set fire because then you're not going to accidentally burn down your house or something. Next up is the cat plushie. Interact to gain speed for 10 seconds. Can I? There we go. So it's just four string. One, two, three, four. Catch pushy. Oh, look at him, he's adorable. Oh, accidentally placed him down. This cute little animation, and you get speed. What level? Oh, wait, I've. I've still got my speed from my armor. I forgot about that. There you go, it gives you speed free for 10 seconds. I mean, it is only full string, so it's not uh, super difficult to get. Oh, it didn't even give me the effect that time. There we go. Yeah, 
That's uh, like if you get that like early game, like uh, if there are some add-ons like Tinker's Construct that uh, let you uh, uncraft wool from uh, you know crafts uh, get four string out of one block of wool. So if you have an extra bit of wool, you can easily get that uh, if you have Tinker's Construct on. So it might be useful in the early game. Next up is the chicken plushie. It's four raw chicken and four feathers. I don't have any raw chicken, I think. Interact to launch up, then safely descend. So I have, I have plenty of feathers because um, I have an automatic chicken farm because this is this is a copy of my survival world. There are plenty of feathers. It's just the uh, chicken automatically gets cooked. So I'm gonna have to give myself two raw chicken. Give at P raw. Sorry, I'll just give me the give myself a compressed raw chicken. I don't know why raw chicken was Anyway, and we have the chicken plush, and I'm just going to put the raw chicken in the chest. And if I need it in a future video, I can just give it in a chest if I remember. So let's go. So this one is all uh, again. This this will be easy to get here again because you can just kill a couple of chickens that you see wandering around. And especially if you like, uh, it'll be especially useful if you're like trying to ascend a mountain. Because if we, if I just like run over here, ow. And if, oh, then I float up. Hold on, I'm gonna put this on so the, I'm gonna put this on so the phantoms don't kill me. There you go, you get launched up and you float down. And you start slow fall for a bit as well. Oh, and I forgot I can fly. This is space but yep. Uh, pretty useful for uh, ascending a mountain. And it's adorable as well. And it, uh, unlike a lot of items that, are just, that once you get to a certain point in the game they're just useless. These will, these will be useful the entire game because you can just use them in your base as decoration. Next up is the cow plushie. Interact to clear all negative effects. So that was two milk buckets and two raw beef. And I've either of them, so I'm just going to give myself them. Um, raw. They're not compressed. Raw. There. There. Beef two. Give up here. M I L K. Ba ba ba. Milk bucket. Sunny two. And we get a cow pushy. Now, if I uh, go up here, and I summon a witch. <laughs> and then she hits me with poison. And I don't know what that was. I think she's just doing prone into damage. And I can use this and now I'm no longer poisoned. Oh, and I did not mean to place it. There we go. I made a little move. That's cute. Don't hear the others make any noises. And you yeah, that uh, noise of like, the sound it makes for the ability is quite loud, so could they be easily missed it? Oh, and they found a way to give you the buckets back as well. Oh, that's cool. I really. Oh, I could do with um in contact with them because I know a couple of uh, add-on creators who are struggling with uh, that. So. 
I hope they put like a Discord or some way for me to get in contact with them in at the end of this book. Well, I did not mean to do that. Uh, oh yeah, I was going to check the Tinker's Construct update book off the edge because I'm not doing Tinker's Construct in this video. That was yesterday's video. So if you want to go, if you want to watch that video, go watch that video after this one, of course. Don't stop this video to go watch that video, please. Yeah, anyway. Uh, then we have the Creeper Pushy. Interact to explode after one second. It's full gunpowder. Hopefully this doesn't destroy everything. So, uh, gunpowder, probably over here somewhere. Why not have any gunpowder? Or did all... Oh yeah, no, I do. It's right here. One, two, three, four. I was going to say, I could have sworn I had gunpowder. And the creeper plushie is made. Yet. So I'm going to go up here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go into this tunnel just in case it does blow stuff up. So I wanna fix this a minute for the millionth time. So if I just some then I didn't. Oh, cool! It doesn't do damage to the environment. That's good. <laughs> um. If you've watched my videos before, something I complain about a lot in like with some add-ons is when they is like when an item or mob destroys the environment. Um, and I said, and the, I don't know if if the add-on create the creators who made this add-on uh, watch my stuff actually uh, might it might be a possibility because I don't know I, uh, if. The, how they noticed they that the yard don't cost too much, or maybe they just maybe they don't remember that they just figured that out on their own. Uh, probably did. Um, but I, you know, I always complain. Oh, if you add a new weapon or something, don't make it like destroy a bunch of stuff because you know it's going to make it more uh, of a niche item because you're not really going to be using it all the time. Because if you're working in an area and you get attacked by something. You don't want to blow that area up and stuff like that, so, yeah. Just nice that the add-on doesn't actually destroy your builds, is what I'm saying. It's just something I complain about a lot in add-ons. Next up is the Ender Dragon plushie. It's the Ender... Ooh, key. I do have a problem with this recipe. Yeah, so if you know this, you can only get one Ender Dragon egg. Even if you respawn the Ender Dragon, no matter what you do, you can only ever get one Ender Dragon egg. And I think m the m vast majority of people know that. Um, and by making this recipe require the Ender Dragon egg, then you're kind of making it so that only one person can have this, unless it gives you... Interact to deal damage around you for five seconds. Yeah. So... Oh, I'm just going to do egg. You don't have to really change them all to be spawn eggs. I'm just gonna give myself the item because I can't find the Ender Dragon egg in here. But um, maybe what they could do is give this a secondary effect in that if you shift and right click at the same time, it'll instead of doing its main effect, it'll give you an Ender Dragon egg on a cooldown. Because uh, if you're playing on a well. Then only one of you will be able to have this Ender Dragon plushie, and uh, yeah, that doesn't really seem fair. And so, if you can just do Shift right click to, or so, or just like left click to 
uh, do it or something. Just uh, basically give it a secondary ability that you can activate separately to give you an Ender Dragon Egg. So uh, if you're on a realm, multiple people can have this and uh, then everybody will have to go without. But yeah, if I summon uh, Vinny again. <laughs> Hi, Vinny. Yeah, that's a pretty decent uh, effect. It's like a small AoE where they so they take damage. It's also pretty cute. Oh, I mean, look at you. Okay, you. Doorbell. Uh, so, yeah, definitely. Um, I definitely think they, sh they should add a, a bit of the T4 to give you the end of Dragon Egg. Next up is the Enderman plushie. Interact to teleport to where you are looking. Oh, this could be good. So that's four Ender Pills. There they are. One, two, three, four. Oh, I've... I need more of these little duties. There you go, that should last me. So, how far does this go? That's a lie, I did not teleport. Uh, this world is a bit buggy, uh, you just need to take a look at the uh, Tinker's Construct review uh, to see how buggy it is. Uh, yeah, over here. Uh, I had a lot of problems with the Tinker's Construct review. Uh, so this will, so it could be this will that just this will that uh, the effects are just sometimes just don't work. Uh, maybe it's too far away. Maybe that's why it's not working. Uh, I don't think it should go on cooldown if you don't teleport. Like if you're too far away and it doesn't teleport you, then it shouldn't go on cooldown. This one scene. So there we go. I teleported that time. The cooldown is a bit long. This was this is this will also be good for like tra uh, traversing like the Never and stuff. You can just teleport across lava. I think. Well, maybe that might be a bit big. Let's try it. Try it out and Never. Another diamond just give me blow fall. Now. I'm just going here. Right. So. Yeah. Don't know. Ooh. Well, if you fall off, it's definitely going to be useful because you can just teleport back up. Uh, mind you, I do have to say fall on, so. That gave me a bit of an event, but I don't think you're going to be... Yeah, I'll take it for probably not going to be super useful. Oh, wait, wow! Okay, yeah. I could teleport that far, so yeah, it can be quite useful in the never. Or teleporting around if you need to get somewhere. Ah, uh, no, that's too far away. Seems a bit, uh... Odd. Okay, maybe it might just be this world. That's fake name, but that's, that, that, that definitely seems like it should have worked. I don't know. Yeah, that worked. That was even for I don't know. Again, this world's oddly buggy sometimes, so it could just be this world. Ah. I had a cramp in my leg earlier and it's still hurting a bit. And then the Lenderman guy can go there. Um, I'm just going to chuck these in a chest. 
Next up is the Fox Plushie. It's four sweet berries interact to leap. So it's four sweet berries. One fox plushie. Uh, put them in the chest. So interact to leap. Let me take the arm off. Interact. We yeah. So you just do a little leap forward. So it's like a less powerful version of the teleport, basically. Oh, immediate effects noise. Yep, yeah, that's cool. And if you if you do it while jumping, you can get a good bit of distance. Yeah, that's cool. I would probably say it's better than the uh, cat plushie, but things easier to get than sweet berries because sweet berries only spawn in like specific biomes. Not much better, just a bit better. Oy. Next up, we have the Gast plushie, which is for gas tears. Interact to shoot fireball. Where's gas tears? There they are. One, two, three, four. I don't have many gas tears. And that's a gas plushie. Oh, it's adorable. Hello, you guy. So just right click, shoot fire. Wow. That's an actual gas fireball by the looks of it. It does this. It does this destroy terrain just like a gas fireball. Oh my god, that's powerful! I didn't have my OP armor. Still. That killed me with no armor on in one shot, which a normal gas fireball does not do, and it made a fairly big explosion. Hold on, can this destroy Stoon? Oh. Uh, wait. Yeah, it can destroy stone. Oh wow. Yeah, it's a fair bit more powerful than the actual gas fireball. Right, seeing as how gas fire tears are quite uh, difficult to get, like I said, even I don't have that many of them. Uh, I guess it's fine. Because they're not super rare drop from gas, but they're rarer than uh, their other drops. Um, so, yeah. Uh, again, would really like if it didn't destroy everything. No? Uh, then we have the Goat Pushy, which is for Goat Horns. Interact Ram Forwards. Give at P Goat Horn 4. Oh, does it just... if you give yourself it, does it... Yeah, I think it just gives... does it give you a random one or is it the same one every time? Those two are... I think it's just like the, the default one. Yeah. Never done that before. Never cheated in uh, goat horns for commands. So yeah, we have the goat plushie, and you ram forward, or charge forward. Uh, let's get Vinny in here to test this out. Mm. 
Yeah, it does do damage. Oh, that did a fair chunk of damage. Still on cooldown. Nope. I missed. There you go, got him. That is a cool ability, but I would also... I, I think also like an ability that just like lets you play... Uh, lets you choose a goat horn sound to play would be cool as well. Next up is the Iron Golem Pusher, which is two iron blocks and two poppies. Interact to uh, smash the ground with dirt around you. So, one, two. Uh, I don't think I have poppies. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to give myself two poppies then. Give. At P pop shoot. And we have the iron golden plushie. So let's summon Vinny again, see hmm. if this damages uh, hostiles. Oh, I did not mean to place you out. <laughs> oh, I actually one shot Vinny. Does do damage it to nearby entities. That's great. I thought I would have done more if I would have done like the same like attack damage as an iron golem. Yeah. Um it does have quite a long cooldown as well. There you go, place him there. Let's see. And then there's the Panda Plushie, which is uh, for Bamboo. A uh, random effect for 20 seconds, okay. Or Bamboo. One, two, three, four. So if I just take my arm off real quick. And do and clear the effects. So right, mm. can be a bit annoying sometimes accidentally placing them down. Right click, didn't give me an effect. Maybe it was instant health because instant health doesn't have a thing. But that one gave me fire resist. I think the first one didn't give me anything because I didn't do the little bamboo with the noise. Yeah, well then positive effect. That one gave me regen. And I accidentally placed the friend on there. Got invisibility. Got water breathing. Uh, got health boost. Yeah, that's cool. Bit of luck based, but it's also a cute little plushie, so I guess some people will craft that just for the plushie itself. Yeah, uh, well, <clears throat> yeah. So on to the last. Uh, oh no, we're not. Oh, we really are. Well, we're not. Not too many more now. Next up is the pig plushie. Interact to teleport to your spawn point. Oh, that's been an odd one for pig. Give at p pork chop four. This is pretty good for uh, early on in the game, you get just kill a couple of pigs and then you can just like use this to go back to your spawn if it's night time and you can sleep. Where are the zombies? What? I hear the zombie, I do not see zombie though. Hold on. Kill at E type equals zom. I forgot the E equals zom. Okay. 
There you go, I don't know where the zombie was, but he's dead now, so now I can sleep. Oh, I love fan oh there's a phantom right there. There you go, now I can sleep. Oh, there's a zombie on my roof, I see the rotten flesh there. Yeah, how did the zombie get on the roof? And you're in the structure. Watch there, there we go. Anyway. Yeah, pretty good. It, yeah, pretty good the ability. I'm surprised it's on the pig though. Yeah, no, by the ability being able to teleport back to your spawn. Then you got the piglin pushy, which is four gold and four blackstone, I think. Interact to receive a p random piglin trade. Oh, that's good. And not four, two. Did I say four? Did I say two? One, two. Give that to be a black. Doom two. No, one, right, we're on to the pig. Oh, it's obsidian. Why is it obsidian? There's no obsidian naturally spawning in the nether. It should be blackstone. Oh, yeah, there's that obsidian. Yep, that's obsidian. I mean, you do have to get obsidian to get to the nether, but I think it would be make more sense for it to be blackstone, because that's what the piglins are... Uh, how... Uh, bastions are made out of. Yeah, oh, if I was a speed runner, this would be really good. So yeah, it's on a cooldown. I assume that, uh, hold on. Give at P pig Lin There we go. So I assume if you use one, then, yeah, that's not, so, you, so crafting multiple that isn't going to help you. You can only use because, but yeah, that's a decent ability, though. Yeah. You get some cool stuff from this. Just to be a bit slow, is all. But you also don't have to pay gold, so I guess it's a good trade-off. That is slower, but you, it's not as resource. Uh, uh, con you know. You don't have to get a bunch of gold to do it. That's what I'm saying. Sit. Hold on, let me empty that stuff into a chest. So, next up is the... Uh, wait, no, I did not. Uh, pig... Uh, there we go. Pufferfish plus pushy. It's four pufferfish. Interact to launch pufferfish that poison enemies. Give at P puff... Pufferfish for... So, if I summon Vinny again... <laughs> oh, I missed. No. Oh, but they're all... Ah. Will they hit me? Oh, yeah, they hit me. Oh, I didn't want to place it. Yeah, this was not so good. Because you want to... Kind of aim it towards the ground, so they like. Yeah, this one's not very good. I would not recommend crafting uh, this one unless you are. Uh, you could just gonna use it for decoration. This decoration is kind of cute, especially if you like. If you've got like, if you're building like an aquarium, putting some of them in there would be cool. 
Um, next up we have the rabbit plushie, which is two rabbit hides and two rabbit feet. I don't think I have any of them. Either of them. Oh yeah, I did have one chicken. Anyway. Uh, nope, no rabbit hide or feet. So, give at P rabbit foot to hide to. And we have the rabbit plushie. What does this do? The interactive game jump boost for 50 seconds. Okay. So let's do some testing with this. So, this is three blocks. This is three blocks tall. Oh, it didn't give me it. There you go, so it's three blocks tall. Oh, yeah, you can jump up three blocks. That's good. Yeah, uh, I you do say this a lot, but if you have a uh, add-on and an item uh, gives you jump boost, you it has to be at least enough to uh, get you to jump up two blocks. Otherwise, it's not really... Uh, otherwise, it's pretty much pointless because... Uh, anything less than that would be like one and a half blocks, and it's like when it in. God damn, that's noisy. When in like actual Minecraft, are you actually gonna need to like jump up one and a half blocks? And next up is the sheep plushie, which is four wool. Interact to gain saturation for five seconds. One, two, three, four. Now this isn't bad saturation. Uh, it basically fills up your hunger bar. So if I do E F F E C T at P hung hunger uh, seconds ten seconds amplifier two five five. I just run around, that's till I'm starving. And I need to do effect clear. Alright. And I right click with this. There we go. Yeah, it completely fills up your hunger bar. So that is nice. Um So you yeah, it is it is useful. Uh yeah, and then it basically it basically replaces your food. You don't have to carry around a stack of food, or you can just carry around the plush. So isn't it? So I can see how someone would think it is a bit OP. Um. Well, I, what I would have done is I would have made it so it um. It would just like uh, act like a bed, so you'd right click it and it would make you sleep. A bit like the. Uh, the sleeping bag. Oh well. Then there's the skeleton plushie, which is two bows, two arrows. I don't have bows, bows. Should I have arrows? Yeah. Uh, give at P bow two. And we have the skeleton plushie. Oh, I used my uh, tipped arrows. Yeah, damn it. So I right click and it shoots arrows. So let me get Vinny he in here in a minute. Someone, someone been hit <laughs> Eh, not great damage, but it is basically just like three arrows, I guess. Like, eh, eh, not a great item, but it's somewhat decent, I guess.
Alright, so... What's up next? The uh, slime plushie, which is four slime blocks. Interact with damage and poison it. Why? Why is it that? That's random. Do I even have any... Ah, oh, yes. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I interact and it poisoned them. What I would have done is I would have made it made this uh, launch your you know your enemies up so they just like slip fling them up in the air and then they'd uh, take damage from fall damage. That makes more sense for a slime plush. Uh, spider plushy, two spider eyes and two string. Interact to weave web. So. One, two, one, two. And I've got some inventory lag. Spider plushie, spider plushie, spider plushie, does whatever a spider plushie does. Ah, oh, it shoots out cobwebs. Only stick there, that's cool. I'm pretty useful because, um, if you, if I give at P, she, she, eh, ah, she is. Oh, that fixed it. Then you can just harvest these up, and these are actually useful in some add-ons. And the, the, uh, the, this is actually the only winnable way of getting them, because um, in vanilla Minecraft the only way to get uh, uh, cobwebs is uh, to uh, find them in abandoned mine shafts or uh, the stronghold library. Anyway. And next up is a squid plushie, which is four ink sacks. Interact to gain health boost for... Why health boost? It does feel like for some of these they were stretching a bit. Give at P ink sack four. Like, why not just make it so it gives you water breathing? Or something. You got squid. Gives you an extra four hearts. It's not a bad effect, it's just a bit random for the squid. I, just, I, I think that should be uh, water breathing. Or conduit power. Uh, or gives you uh, some ink sacks. Uh, next up is the turtle plushie, which is for turtle scute. Interactive game resistance five for five seconds. That that makes sense. Give at p for because uh you know the person of the turtle master gives you resistance and slowness. So for the turtle plushie to just give you slowness, but for much less time. Is fine. Resistance all. Yeah. It's a bit short. And you apparently you can use it quite quickly, so. It would be useful in a fight, but uh, not super useful, I guess. Because of how short it is. Like, what they should do is they should double the duration and double the uh, cooldown. Uh, villager plushie. 
And try to gain healing. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like four emeralds and a pushy gives you a hero of the village for five seconds. Oh no, for five minutes, hero of the village free. So if I go, I have some villagers up here. If they've not all been killed by something. I think they might have been killed. Oh wait, no, I hear a villager somewhere, and there's a nine. Oh, here's a... Huh? excuse me, here's a dude. So yeah, pretty. Decent discounts. That's useful if you have a villager trading hall. Means you don't have to set up a uh, raid farm. Um, what's uh, next in the book? I just completely had the brain fire there. So next up is the Warden Plushie, which is Fall Skulk Catalyst. Interact to, to release a Sonic Boom attack. Give at peace Skulk. It makes sense for it to be Fall Skulk Catalyst, because there's only two ways to get these. Re number one is with a Silk Switch Hoe in a, uh, you know, in a Skulk area, just like either like a Skulk Cave or the uh, Asian city itself. Uh, or by killing the Warden. So let's get Vinny in here. Hmm. Ooh, and yeah, it's quite strong. How bad does it go? I wonder. Probably oh, has decent range. And let me go into game mode one. So then Vinny won't follow me around, and I'll just summon him here. <coughs> I'll go all the way over here. Doesn't go that far. Still on cooldown. Oh, he came closer. Doesn't go that far, so it's not super long range. But you'll be able to do it from a decent distance away. Nice. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, it does go a decent distance, but not super long. Uh, next up is the Wither Plushie, which is a Never Star and Four. With a, a free with a roses, give up here with three. I think I actually have some never stars around here somewhere. Uh, maybe not, maybe that was in there. Yeah, I'm not seeing any never stars. I could just be blind. Anyway, I'm just gonna give myself one. Give up here never. Star. And we have the Wither Plusy. Uh, what does this do? Oh, it shoots. Oh! That's a big hole. And there goes my. Uh, I'll have to fix it up in between recordings. Again, I have stated this multiple times, but I don't like it when um, it destroys stuff. Because that means I have to clean it up. Let's, uh, let's launch one down here. See how much damage it does. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Uh, hold on, I'm just gonna get a totem real quick. I'm not in game mode one. There we go. Yes, in case I can get myself killed again. 
So if I some wow. That did a lot of damage to the warden. And another one. On cooldown. Oh, I placed it. There. And another one. And another one. Warden has a lot of health though. If you want to fight the warden, this is not a bad uh, way of doing it. Just got to be careful when you're in your base, because you might end up destroying your base. There we go. Especially with these, uh, with these items that are dual purpose, because you can use these as decoration, so uh, you could accidentally, like, you know, blow up your base trying to place one of these down. Then you have the wolf plushy. Interact to spawn wolves that fight for you. So it's four bones. One, two, three, four. Wolf plush. Right click. Summon the wolves. They're killing me! No! Why are they attacking me? There you go. Uh, yeah, this should be a T sound school, but in practice, it, it's not very good. And uh, next up is the last uh, of all is the zombie pushy. In fact, we to get regen for five seconds. So uh, let me just get one, two, three, four. Well, this one's probably going to be a bit OP because. Uh, regen in Bedrock is quite slow. So again, Regen for 5 seconds is quite powerful. So let me go into game mode zero. Oh, I am in game. What's wrong with me? Anyway. E F F E C T. At P ten, uh, I've got poi poison ten two five five. Uh, let me get. I want to get down to half a heart. We do any get out. Alright, so I read look at that. Mm. It's good regen, but not super OP. So yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty balanced. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't take you uh, from like half a heart to full health in like a, a millisecond, but it still uh is faster than uh just you know, regening the normal way. So yeah, pretty good. And and you do have to dedicate an item slot to it, so that's uh, the downside of that. But yeah, pretty cool add-on actually. I do really like it. Uh, still when it's with 15 quid, so it is a good thing that they spotted that and got it uh, reduced because... Uh, yeah. And oh, that's where we came from. Yeah. I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video and bye bye.